Hello there. Happy holidays from me. I'm your girl, Intisar Eleanor. We're going to do a whole slay miss, okay? I'm just going to give y'all a bunch of shit. And we're going to throw some stuff at the wall. And we're going to see how it works. So today, we are doing a get ready with me. I'm bright eyed, bushy tail. My husband had some friends in town. And we're going to go see what they're up to at the new fountain. Blah. Let's get into it so i need some clips for my hair but how you been girl what's been going on me child has been a lot i feel like we've been don't judge my wig child we've been outside okay i'm not wearing this wig tonight no damn way i really should take it off but i'm not ready to expose myself yet you picking up what i was in we just gonna beat our face real good so okay so i'm just gonna beat my face and we're gonna get into it so um, I usually would use the Mario makeup by Mario. I haven't been loving it lately. It's been making me look a little, if I'm being honest, funeral style chic. I'm not really with that right now. So again, we're going out um, today to just a little bit for tonight to see some of my husband's friends, okay? And I'm super excited because this group of friends I actually really like the Fountain Blue, and I want to see the Fountain Blue. So the Fountain Blue in Vegas just open so i'm kind of like excited to see what it's looking like who in there you making the money down but they got to eat sis is hungry but that's a norm that's every day for me so i'm really excited to see what they got going on um uh, oh yeah i love this stuff this is the bobby brown um vitamin enriched face space love 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 love, love. okay so I just want to go on through. I'm going to link everything below. I'm going to show y'all everything I'm using. But I really kind of want to just dig on in. And this is really going to be like a holiday rant. Things that are just on my brain. Stream of consciousness. Consciousness. <laughs> if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So, yeah. So, we're going out. We've been trying to prioritize in our home. Honestly, slowing down. Me and Joe have been doing a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I told you guys we just moved, so that's been a lot for us as well. So it's kind of like we really want to get back to just us a little bit, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. And I think the best way um, to do that is to really not have goals. And I know y'all going to say, like, what you mean you ain't got no goals? Me and my husband have had goals forever, it seems like now. And right now, we just want to be each other. We just want to be doing each other with each other. And that's it. And that's all. Okay. Like that's the most important thing right now. Like not what we need to buy, where we need to get it from, anything like that. And it's really, I feel like having a shift in our relationship. And if I'm being honest, even for me, like I feel like as a Virgo, I'm always planning something. I'm always feeling like I have to be responsible for something. When in truth, sit your mammy tip and butt down. Relax. We already have all the things. We have the car. We have the house. We have the jobs. We have all the things. We have all the things. There's not nothing else we need to add. And honestly, we just really need to chill. So, like, that's what this season for us is about. It's about just getting back to one another. And I feel like, like, not enough people know, like, me and Joe, like, dated in high school for quite a bit of time. And when we got back together, it kind of felt like a mad dash to, like, honestly, for me, it felt like a mad dash to the altar. Like, it felt like we were just hanging out, and then we were getting married. And then after we were getting married, we were moving. And then after we were moving, we not not just moving, moving to a whole other state. And then after we moved to a whole other state, we were moving again. We got a whole new house. So it's just time to relax a bit. You know what I mean? And I think he's like really been trying to like give me all the things I want. But I think it's been affecting us, if I'm being honest. And not in like a terrible way, but in a way where you lose sight of the bigger picture. Shout out to my sister Jazz for this. She really put me on to this one day. I didn't have primary at her house. And honestly, I'm a milk baby. Damn, similac. Love me some milk. But nowadays, it's giving very lactose intolerant if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So, Callie Ray. Hey, girl. Hey. Now, like I said, we've been trying our best to kind of like get back to each other. 
and I think it's been working or whatever. So there's that. And in doing that, we've been kind of like watching movies and hanging out. That's stuff me and him don't normally do. You know what I mean? Like we normally like, we got maybe two shows to watch after we cook dinner. But then we just been like hanging. Like, no, we're going to prioritize one another. And that's been kind of nice, if I'm being honest, because I've been in desperate need of maybe attention is the word. Maybe attention is the word. And I think that's kind of why it's been hard for me to kind of like create too. Because it's like I've been trying to find a rhythm. It's like a house, not a housewife, but basically. And, you know, I'm in a new position and I've been trying to find my rhythm there. And honestly, if I'm being honest, that's been going great. Great, 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 great. So it's been like really nice. I meant to fix that, bro. But it's been really nice to kind of like be somewhere where you have like resources. And I'm not as stressed as I was these past couple years trying to figure everything out. Like it's been really tough for us. And I have this in chai. Really tough for us with my, um, you know, just trying to figure out my job situation and a good rhythm. It's been kind of hard, if I'm being honest. Just putting that. This is a little bit of color correcting, y'all. Sometimes your girl desperately needs it. And like I said, this is going to be a fast beat and throw the wig on, okay? So, yeah. Like I said, we've been getting back. But let's talk about the movies we've been watching. So, first of all, we watched... Oh, my God. Y'all bust down in the comments. The movie with Julia Roberts, Mahershala Ali... And whomever else was in it, that movie, at first it was so good. Like, it was going somewhere. And then it got like, where the hell is this going? And then before I knew it, it dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. I was hitchhiking because I didn't know what the hell was going on, okay? And so Friends Saved the Day. Y'all know exactly what movie I'm talking about. And I'm going to put it, like, across the screen because I cannot remember. But, like, in real life, I was like, okay. Whose idea was this? And why Why do people get to make stupid ass movies like this? But also, why are we in desperate need of an ending? What happened to our imaginations? You know what it is? That's some real stuff. What happened to our imaginations? We don't read anymore. That's the problem, Miss Wilson. Sorry, y'all. That's my Morphe spray. I'm just going to spray this like a few times as we go. Um, it just helps set every layer of my makeup. Now... We watched that. Oh, my God. Let me tell you. We watched. Oh, my God. Why can't I remember any of these movies' names? I'm going to, like, really regret this. Candy Cane Lane with Eddie Murphy. So, fun fact. I started dating Joe because I have this real obsession with Eddie Murphy. And when I was younger, I was madly in love with Eddie Murphy. One of my favorite movies is Boomerang. And I love Axel Foley. And I loved Prince Akeem and all the peoples, all the peoples, obsessed, completely obsessed. And Joe looked so much like him with the little mustache and stuff, baby. You couldn't tell me I wasn't dating the guy. Okay. I was dating Marcus. <laughs> okay? Like literally that's how I felt. So like, I was like completely obsessed with this man and obviously obsessed with Eddie Murphy. So, Candy Cane Lane was actually really freaking cute. And honestly, it kind of gave me, um, Jingle, y'all remember Jingle Jangle? That was like a hit the other, uh, like, what, two years ago maybe? It was like a hit two years ago. I love Jingle Jangle. I don't want to hear nothing about my technique. This is how I do my makeup. Y'all been asking me about it. This is what I do, okay? This is Espresso Fenty Beauty. Now, I really liked it. In his older age, Eddie Murphy is overacting in a way I'm not 100% with. That's my truth. Okay, but I did actually really, really like it. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I didn't like it and that I didn't enjoy seeing Eddie Murphy acting and that I don't love Tracy Ellis Ross. I'm not going to pretend. I absolutely love them. I thought they were the cutest couple. I thought their kids were cute. And I thought the movie was so damn good. And I also want to normalize Black Santa. And you want to know how I know it's being even more normalized? Michaels. I went there. And I don't live in a neighborhood with a lot of... Are you picking up what I'm putting to you? And baby, we was tussling over Black Santa. Do you hear me? Tussling 
over Black Santa. And so for me, David Allen Greer as Santa, and if you haven't seen it, my bad boo, check it out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Period. Okay? Absolutely loved it. I really like when we do things that's absent of struggle, violence, and just like includes imagination. Because guess what? Black people love fantasy too. We like Santa too. We like Christmas too. We have families who have regular jobs and doing regular stuff and trying to figure out regular things. Like everybody is not ghosts and Tasha. And also I'm exhausted with that trope. Okay? Oh, excuse me. Let that be another thing. This is a part of my rant. I am exhausted. Don't worry about ever asking me, have I watched anything about black people doing drugs? I have not. Okay? I'm exhausted with the trope. I think it's so cliche. I think black people commit other crimes that are not murder and dealing drugs. And we really need to normalize that. Like, it's okay. We do other things. Like, believe it or not, we in there for um wire fraud, mail fraud. We start Ponzi schemes too. Can we get a, um, what's his name? The guy who, uh, was it, Mad Madoff? Can we get a Bernie Madoff? Like, we got one of those. We don't have to be subject to violence and everything like that. Y'all be thinking we in. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But it was really refreshing to see us. And I felt the same way about Jingle Jingle. In, like, in regards to, like, you know, like people who are carpenters or weird, like, just all these different things. Like, I love, love, love that. So it was really, really good to see, if I'm being honest. I like to do my foundation first. It's just a matter of preference. Okay. Before I do my, found, uh, excuse me, my concealer. And I like to use this House Labs that Lady Gaga does. I'm going to be honest. I used to be an avid Fenty Beauty baby. It still am. I'm not going to pretend like I'm like, every lip gloss I got is by Fenty Beauty. But, or MAC. But the truth is, House Labs been eating the girls up. That's skin. That's skin. I'm the color. I'm 440 in Fenty and this I'm 470 medium deep. Okay. So really, really good. This is going to be so overexposed for so many reasons because I'm so close to the camera. But um, I'm just blending it in. Okay. Let's switch gears a bit because I want to talk about something that's been on my mind. And I know y'all going to beat me because I really should be catching y'all up on my housewife thoughts. But Bravo has been having me in a mimi tip choke hold. You want to know where your girlfriend been at? In a choke hold by Bravo. So let's start with... Oh, sorry guys. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is right now my absolute favorite show. I literally get like... I have to watch her all the time. I, and I'm like one of those people that like, I like to binge watch. So like, if it's, you know, one, I'm like, I really don't want to watch one. I want to go through and watch like a few at a time, but I be waiting. I am waiting for Real Housewives of the Beverly Hills to come on. Sutton is gagging me and the girls and I couldn't be proud of my girl. I couldn't be proud of my baby. I absolutely love Sutton. I think she's such an underrated housewife. This is the Sephora palette. Okay. She's such an underrated housewife. I'm just going through and blending this out. And I think that she has been, they have been getting her together for years. And she said, you know what? Not in 2023. I bet you won't. I bet you you had to earn that check this year, honey. And they said, Kayo, Miss Richard, you'll earn every dollar, every penny, every cent. And I have really been loving it. Now, I also have like, and y'all tell me what y'all think. Crystal was really giving brand new. This year, she's showing up. And I like it. And I like it. And I'm glad we getting Erica back. Because if I'm being honest, I missed her. <laughs> okay? I'm an Erica Jane lover. Been a stan of Erica Jane. I love the fashions. I love the hair. Honestly, me and Erica Jane are the same person. She's just a white woman older as well but you know semantics we're literally the same person i will get you together but i'm also a girl's girls i don't want and i'm gonna cry you know what i mean like i don't want to do it i literally don't want to do it this is uh born that way honey i like to go way light under the eyes okay but she literally has been eating them up and i like this erica who's more relaxed and just like chill you know because now you get to see 
the growth, how she didn't want to be that girl, how she just was really fighting what to me felt like for her life. Like, you know what I mean? Everything she knew for so long was being taken from her. And I think that's like, that's kind of messed. Like, we have to give her something for that. You know what I mean? Or no? Did she steal that money too? Is that what y'all saying? I heard you sis in the back. She took the money. Is that what it is? Mm, Erica. So, so I, I've been really feeling it. I've been feeling how Garcelle has been opening up. Even Dorit is coming to play. She got the lines for days this year. And I'm really into that. But that Kyle situation is very odd to me. Specifically with her fine husband. Have y'all seen that man? Mm-mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? Tell me, have you seen him? <laughs> Beautiful. But they say he be in the streets. Now, I didn't say that. They said he be outside. Outside with the girls. Okay? The youngins. You know what I'm putting down? With the girls. Now, I'm going to say, y'all see my wig falling off? I'm doing this for y'all. This is for you, put. But I'm going to say, Real House of Beverly Hills has been gagging my life. It's not even a, like gagging my entire life. Now, my one show that's kind of been like giving me the ick a little bit is uh, Married to Medicine. Now, me and Married to Medicine have a love-hate relationship with one another. That's primarily because I didn't love the way they did Mariah. And I know y'all like, girl, that was 100 years ago. I know. I know. I just didn't like it. Like, I felt like, not because she started the show or anything, but moreover, Mariah was really that girl. Like, you know what I mean? She had all the one-liners and everything like that. And it felt like, to me, they traded Mariah in for Heavenly, who was mean and nasty and just very mentally ill. Like, I think Heavenly is mentally ill. Hold on, y'all. I need a, a power puff. So I just let this dry, but in the meantime, we're gonna do this. Heavenly to me is like really the slower mercy yet. Nasty. And I don't know how she got that way. I don't know who hurt poor Heavenly. And I recognize she hasn't had a good relationship with her mother or her sister. And it kind of shows to me because on this show, she is so nasty, so rude. Okay, <laughs> like so nasty. And so rude. And I really think it's ugly. Like, I can always tell when women are not real girls' girls. Like, some people are, what do Mich uh, Shara Seven say? Pygmishas? Heavenly is a Pygmisha. So happy that she met a man who um, came through and done something for her at what she thought was her worst. That now, she thinks she could be nasty and mean to everybody. And, and that's including Sweet Tea. And the truth is, I like Sweet Tea. I like young girl energy. I don't care. And honestly, Mary the Medicine needed it. And they'd be a fool to get rid of her. Because she seems like she's with the stuff. Because Heavenly would have said something about my marriage. And I'd have bought every... The, the problem with Heavenly is that I'm trying to figure out why people are afraid of getting with her. I really don't get it. Y'all be thinking because y'all from, like, Florida or something, that means something. Get her together. You from the sticks. This woman is from the literal sticks of backwood wherever. You can't, you can't find a way to touch Heavenly? Explain this to me. It seems to me as if she wants to be touched. So I, I really don't understand. Like, I do not understand. Like, get with her ass. I just feel like. Everybody has been allowing her to say so many things. And I think part of it is like, oh, maybe it's a good show if we don't say anything to her. Which, maybe, but no. No, because all y'all look like punks, including Dr. Jackie. And honestly, I love Dr. Jackie, the doctor. Dr. Jackie, the reality star, not a fan. Not a fan. I think she do too much, um, what's the word I want to use? Back and forth with people. I don't like that. I don't like that. And it's like telling. Okay, so I'm going to go through with this. I like the contour with both the Fenty and my Black Radiance. 
I'm not really, uh, we're going to let this dry and then we're going to pat her down again. Not, like I said, I'm not really a fan of how Dr. Heavenly be acting. I love what's happening with Toya. Um, but you know what? Even though I'm not a fan of Quad, which is funny because Quad is a Taurus and I absolutely love Taurus women, but I probably would like her if I met her. I don't like the character Quad. We have to discern that there's a difference, right? Um, because I don't like, it's funny, I was just talking to my sister, who is also a Taurus. Um, I don't like people who don't take accountability. It really, because you could do just about, I could forgive just about anything. If you are courteous enough and see me enough to say, you know what, I was wrong. When people try to make you the issue, it's, baby, it burns me down. Burns me down. Forest fire. Okay? I do not like it. I don't like it at all. And honestly, I'm more inclined to get with you. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. I'm like more inclined to get like, wait a minute, what's that supposed to mean? So I'm going to go around with the brown. So this is this color. This is my skin color. Okay, this is medium deep, I believe. Yep, medium deep. And then I'm going to go translucent under the eye. But we want to set this as we go. My brows don't look that bad, actually. I'm sitting up here chit chatting with y'all. I got to go, baby. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I be, I haven't been feeling the dynamic so much, but I've been watching. And I'm gonna be honest. This is translucent. I'm gonna be honest. I like Phaedra. I think she's a good addition. I think she's a good addition. I think um, it's fun. It's always fun to watch Phaedra. And I think if they're smart, Bravo, that is. I will put Mariah on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mariah is that girl. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care what y'all say. And I know she did her own friend wrong. And I really, we still need to unpack that. But the truth is, I haven't liked Kwa since. So to me, and I don't think it's because of Mariah. I think it's because something is up with Kwa. Let me know what y'all think about Kwa. Is it me? I feel like she always got a grievance. And as a person who is right now doing a monologue, it is so hard to do. <laughs> like, I feel like, girl, you always doing a monologue. Like, what is that about? Like, you haven't figured out, like, be quiet. <laughs> Not be quiet. But y'all know what I mean. Like, girl, you gotta, somebody else has to speak. Okay. And she's not giving that at all. Y'all see the, do you see the beat coming in, put? Okay. So I'm just going to, we beat that one in. Yeah, that's good. Oh, don't forget to crease your nose, y'all. Sometimes I be so annoyed with myself. Crease your nose. Don't forget that. Okay. And you got to pat the translucent out, okay? You don't want to put that powder all on it because then it'll get cakey. I'd like to, I don't like to do too much. But yeah, I think Phaedra is a really good addition. Um, the way Phaedra like immediately threw Quad under the bus is really fascinating to me. Um, but I also get it. Like, y'all got to think, like, Phaedra came from being on a show where she had like a real big blowout. And her thing is, like, I don't want to be the reason for blowouts on this new show. Like, I want to be just one of the girls. And if you're somebody who is, like, adversarial with these women, I really don't want to be aligned with that. Like, I don't want to be the one who's bringing drama. That's not what I want to be known for. I want to be, like, the fun girl. And I get that. I get that. And the problem is, is Quad is jumping out of funeral. She's jumping out of caskets. Like, what would ever convince you to step your foot in a casket? But you know what, though? For quiet, this whole thing is an acting rule. Let's keep it 100. You're acting pudding. And honestly, okay. You know what I mean? Okay, baby. Like, we get it. It's a rule. We just want to make sure we baking this up good. Mother likes to be snatched. She's acting, and I really do understand it. It's just sometimes very much... The problem is that everybody is seeing it as acting. You're not acting, and we don't notice. We absolutely notice you're acting. And it makes it not fun. You understand what I'm saying? 
it literally makes it not fun. And I feel like she's got to figure that out. Like, it's inauthentic. And I think, honestly, the reason why people like Dr. Heavenly, even though I do not, the reason why people like her is because in some regards, she gives off authentic to some people. Not people like me, because I'm a girl's girl, like I said. But to some people, I'm so bad at these, y'all, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sometimes it makes me look even more snatched. So I'm going to go underneath. To some people, they like like it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like, oh, she just telling the truth. Like, okay, the truth is you may see it, and the problem is that People want so desperately to be nasty to others. And I think that's like a, I think that's a heavenly trait. So when they are unable to do it and heavenly is, they take it as like, oh, she's keeping it real. No, she's just being nasty. But that's okay. I recognize that you might not have any control in your life and being nasty might be something cool. You know what I mean? But the truth of the matter is it's not. <laughs> and she's a nasty bird. And I'm questioning your judgment. But y'all tell me what y'all think about Heavenly. Maybe I'm interpreting it wrong. You know what I mean? Like, she'll be like, oh, well, I'm from Florida. Like, that's why I talk like this. Like, girl, what? You disrespectful because you from Florida? I've been to Florida. I don't, I mean, well. I'm going to let y'all live. I'm going to let y'all live on that one, okay? I'm not even going to say I've been, to, I'm not even going to do it to you. I'm not going to do it to you. But. Talking about the Bravo universe. We will move on. Uh, last thing. Last thing. Tweet really could be my girlfriend. I love Dr. Simone. And I kind of bang with the young girl, sweet tea. I don't care what y'all saying. I kind of bang with her. I like young women. Like, I like young women to be young women. And who cares she got an old man? I love an old Come on. You better ask about me. <laughs> you better ask the kids. Let me tell you something. Is she wrong? Go get you. She, baby, y'all better listen. Go get you one out. Listen, 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 Linda. I love my husband from the top of his head to the bottom of his mammy tent feet. Something never happened to my husband, God forbid. I'll be dating Ben Franklin. Okay? Straight up out the grave. That's who I want. So when you see me walking around on my end of the call, Y'all already know what it is, okay? Because <laughs> these young men, they don't want to do nothing. They don't want to buy you nothing. They don't want to feed you. They don't want to see you do well. They don't want to see you feed your goddamn self. They don't even want to see you feed you. You picking on them with them? I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want nothing to do with it, okay? Ain't nobody training no man to do nothing for them, none of that. You don't want to do nothing? Don't. Don't. Because I'm about to go get Mimi Tatum, um, uh, Benjamin Franklin, or George Washington up in here. Because I ain't got time for this. Okay? <laughs> like, literally. Let me go get Sean Connell. He know how to act. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I've been feeling like... How have you been feeling during the holidays? Ooh, okay. You see your girl coming through? Y'all gonna think this is... how? First of all, let me slow down. How have y'all been feeling during this holiday season? I was talking to my girlfriend today. And she was talking about how they feel like, you know, her and her husband have been feeling like Christmas has been more and more commercialized, which they are not wrong at all. Even though Mrs. Claus, she was absolutely correct. Okay? And how, like, people will kill themselves to get things for their family for the holidays. So my question is for y'all, how has that been looking for you guys? Have you been saving? Have you been able to get things? Or have you guys decided, like, in your home that you're going to do different traditions? Like, what's up with the what's up? Let's down. Let me know. Mm. Okay. So, I'll be right back. I need lashes. And y'all won't think this is disgusting, but... I take my lashes off and save them. So I'm going to go see what I got in my bathroom. Because <laughs> I don't want to open up a new pack. So I'll be right back. 
So my camera is being weird. So I don't know how much of that you guys got. I put my lashes on. I put on my bottom lash using the Max Stack Mascara. One of my favorite mascaras, to be honest, is Fenty Beauty. That one is stupid. Um, this is Dominant by NARS, which is a mauve color. Okay. So we love that for us. I'm going to spray down. I think I'm going to use the Airbrush Flawless. Usually I use um, Patrick Stars. The one. Hmm. No. I like this. So I think I'm going to go um, less matte this time around. And that airbrush kind of gives me that. So. Okay. I want it to soak in, mother. I feel like I'm giving. I'm a bad mother. Shut your mouth. What do y'all think? Let me know. I'm going to just try to go. That was my um, canister of old eyelashes, so don't worry. I'm just going to put a little bit of this mauve color under the eye because I really like it. Probably should have did it first. And then, last but not least, here it is. Okay, this is Fenty Beauty Shadow Stick, okay, that I'm obsessed with as well. And this is kind of like, honestly, if you're like, my makeup is looking a little bit messy, I kind of want to clean her up, this is what I would use. I'm going to take a little bit of this, and it's just going to go right in the tear line. We want to like, I want to give like 70s realness. Pop that eye out, you know? Wipe it off. Ooh, got a little. Here we go. I think that's better. And you really should do this before you do your mascara. Okay. I'm a bad mother. We love. I'm just going to use, this is like a blending brush. Obsessed. Get you one. I have like a ton of them. Okay. You could get them any way you want. This is everything. Because sometimes when I feel like, oh, you did a little bit much, girlfriend. She cools me down. Okay. We drive, and so I'm gonna let my makeup sit. Oh, a lippy, a lippy, a lippy, and then we gotta go. Let's see what we have here. I'm gonna do a little bit of Fenty. This is Breadwinner. Okay. And I think I got some Pat McGrath that I've been liking. Oh, yeah. This is Pat McGrath, one number 1995. Okay. So that's that color. But I like to wipe it off because I'm the queen of doing a darker shade on top and then sometimes messing up my makeup. I mean, my lipstick. I'm just going to line it right in there. Honestly, you only need a little bit of breadwinner because she is the breadwinner, okay? She's giving you all the coins, all the monies. And I'm going to go in. I hope this looks good on camera because it looks good here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pat. I might have to learn to change my lighting for these videos. 
But that's why we're here. We're chatting it up. We're figuring it out as we go. Um, should I wet this? What do y'all think? Or you think it's just fine? I kind of think it's okay. I just don't want to give um, any issues with the side. I think we'll be fine, actually. All right, we're beat. I'm going to do a little bit here. Okay, this is by Milani. It's just a highlight kit, and I'm just going to highlight that nose in the bridge a bit. I'm done. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this like I did. Where's my jewelry? Oh, it's another room. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me like I did. I am so glad you came to join me. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I'll see you guys in a couple days to give you something different and new. I think we're going to get into some fun stuff this season. And again, I'm your girl, Interstar Eleanor. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you beautiful mother jumpers later. Bye.